Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. It's Cardiff City against Chelsea. Let's cross straight to Cardiff. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith. And we've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yep, thanks, Martin. Delighted to be here, as I always am for these occasions. Here we are. It's a gala day today, festival day. The champions have clinched the title already. They can enjoy this final game of the season. Really, it's like a tribute to the whole campaign. Well, precisely. They deserve this for what they've produced this season. They've been the best team in this division, I think by some distance Chelsea feeling good about their own game looking for another victory last time out they won at home against Sunderland yeah surprisingly so 4-1 but uh, they're full of it at the moment I think they might get themselves another win here goal news involving Sunderland Alan McAnally it's a goal for Swansea City it's been scored by Roland Lama it looked to me as if his shot was heading wide but a misjudgment from a defender who stuck out a leg saw it deflect past the keeper. One minute played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Fraser Campbell. It's looking good, this move. Ramsey Duell is the referee today. Dangerous moment. In with the chance. And they've scored. And the score is 1-0. Look at that for speed. Wonderful. You cannot defend against that kind of pace. They've got the ball back through a very good interception. This is Campbell. Good movement to get to it. Oscar. his man he's coming forward with some danger you can tell in a goal no oh, it's hit very well and the goalkeeper was strong he's not been in good form at all alan has he but he's been picked to start today yeah i did wonder about that martin but the managers kept his faith in him and uh, we'll see if it works or not out there ivanovic in with a very strong challenge Goal news from Southampton. It's a goal for Manchester United. It's been scored by Antonio Valencia. A speculative shot from 25. Oh! It's a Manchester United goal. That Alan McAnally was trying to tell us about. I had to cut across him there. Apologies for that. The score is now 1 0. Eden Hazard. of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. 26 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Good position, they've worked this attack very... Close range chance! Oh! They've pulled it back level with this goal. Great from the manager's point of view. You could see him encouraging the players to get forward for this counter-attack, and they got their reward. It's such a weapon for this side, I'm sure they practice it on the training ground in the week, and it's paid off here. Got to be a goal, surely. Keeps it going. Here he is with a chance. Got the ball back. Looking good, this move. Opportunity here. Could it be? And here's the shot. Well, get the shot out. It's still in play. Hazard. Such quality in the build-up and a brilliant finish. A wonderful goal. Superb team. Plenty of chances and a goal now to show for all their class. And they've done a few, and they could have had even more, really, when you think of the number of chances they've created here. Could be a goal, in with a chance, and he's put it in the net for Chelsea. And the scoreline is 3-0. 
3 1. Gary Meda. The interceptor has got the ball here. Elsewhere, there's been a sending off. Let's hear from Alan McInally. It's a sending off for Liverpool. They're down to 10 men. And they're through. What a chance. Well, that's the old one, too. So quick, one after the other. It's a good moment in the match for this team now. They'll think probably that this has won the game by increasing their lead now. Well, they don't need to switch off, but, you know, they're very nearly home, aren't they, with the form that they've shown. Well, on the counter-attack, that is absolute... Chance for it. Here's the shot. And it's a goal. Well, they talk about moving the ball quickly. That's what they've done here to open up the defence. Some great passing. And a terrific finish. Yeah, I think he knew what he was going to do before the ball came to him. As all... And he goes on goal. Here's the chance. He might be needed again, the goalkeeper. So that is half-time. And Chelsea will enjoy their break in the dressing room. I think as we reflect on the first half, that the manager has said to his players, look, it could be a banana skin here. Make sure you don't slip on it. Well, that's quite right, and top marks there for their professionalism. They've come out here and they haven't relaxed by any stretch. Goal news from Norwich, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Eden Dzeko. I'm not sure they knew too much about it, but a hard cross came in from the left and it came off his head into the back of the net. 46 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Fraser Campbell. That could be the end of the game for this player. He's stopped in his tracks by that damaged muscle, I'm sure. He's through. Got to be. Well, that's his best save of the game, Alan. He's had a pretty sketchy match, in truth, but well done then. Yeah, a bit of a port in a storm for him. He's not been in the best of form, but... Yeah, as you say, fair play. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. Yeah, looks like he's got hamstring problem there. He's carrying on, but keep an eye on this one. Brilliant opening. Oh! It's a goal! Well, he's a happy fella, isn't he? He's got two now. Well, the glory of a goal-scoring feast here. 5-2. He's into the challenge. Well, he's got away. Here's the shot. Well, he was almost celebrating the hat-trick as he went to the ball. Maybe that was why he was off target in the end. Yeah, perhaps. He has been in fine form, and I wouldn't rule out another chance in him converting it in this match. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. And here's the shot. Must be! Well, that should do him an awful lot of good, Martin, because he's been in poor form. That's beautifully done for the goal. Well, do you know what? I think they... Keeper should have held that, and the fact that he's he's fumbled it has cost his team deal. Goal news from Fulham, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Fulham. It's been scored by Lewis Holtby. It looked as though the keeper might have had it, but the looping shot came down behind him under the bar. 62 minutes played, 3-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Here's Kim. Possession in the midfield area. Opportunity here. Oh! It's a corner. It is time now for the managers to show their hands with their substitutions. Both managers are going to do this. Not the best corner in these circumstances. We're hearing there's a penalty. Alan McInally. It's a penalty for Liverpool. Up steps Luis Suarez. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps, goalkeeper, oh, power, power, no chance for goalkeeper. 70 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. 
one or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. What about him? Well, he uh, just seems devoid of confidence at the moment. He's going through a bad spell and he can't seem to get out of it. Goal news now from Fulham, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Fulham. It's been scored by Konstantinos Mitroglou. He ran onto a lot. Oh, good reflexes by the goalkeeper. Powerful effort. And it's a corner now. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. And he's headed it goalwards. The goalkeeper didn't have to move to make that save. Yes, news from Alan McAnally there, which we had to cut short from the match involving Fulham. They scored. This could be a goal, got to be. And he's put it in the net for Chelsea. So now it is 6 3. Not much. And it's a return ball. one-sided game that I've ever seen. No surprises here, Alan. None at all. No, and uh, they've been dominant, really, from start to finish. They've, they've played some really attractive, expansive football. Here's a shot. Well, this is a real charge for a big victory. He's been in very, very disappointing form. I think he's surprised that he's been picked for the starting 11 here. Yeah, well, sometimes you've just got to try and play your way through these periods of bad form. Sometimes you're not able to, but uh, he's got to keep his head up, keep his chin up. In a goal. Finish. And here's a shot now. Hit the post. Hazard. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. There was real power in that shot. Well, it's a way to end the season. Enjoyed working with you, Alan. Yeah, it's been another really enjoyable season. And you know what? I can't wait for the next now. said often before Alan you you can't take for granted you'll ever win anything again so when you do get a winner's medal as they're getting here and celebrating just drink it in milk the moment yeah, it's easy to think that the good times will keep on a rolling but that's not always the case I think these players appreciate that it's been a brilliant occasion all credit to the organizers for the way it's staged, it sets it up. It makes it such a theatre for these football performers to go on. And this team didn't fluff their lines, did they? They certainly didn't, and that's so satisfying. As a professional, you can look back to your big moments, the big occasions, and know that you played your part, you played well. Good team, aren't they? And I think there's only better times ahead for this group of players.